Welcome to week two of Lent. This is our second uh, video meditation for your use during the upcoming week. Covenant. O oh God, whose glory it is always to have mercy. Be gracious to all who have gone astray from your ways and bring them again with penitent hearts and steadfast faith to embrace and hold fast the unchangeable truth of your word, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives with you in the Holy Spirit, lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. This second week of Lent, part of the text that we read in church, comes to us from the 17th chapter of Genesis. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am God Almighty, walk before me and be blameless. And I will make my covenant between me and you. I will make you exceedingly fruitful and I will make nations of you, and kings shall come from you. I will establish my covenant between me and you and your offspring after you throughout all generations for an everlasting covenant to be God to you and to your offspring after you. The line that most strikes me in the story of God making the covenant with Abram is that last line, an everlasting covenant to be God to you and to your offspring after you. The concept of covenant is ancient and had its roots in the various cultures of the ancient Middle East, but unlike a simple contract or a mere business deal, a covenant implied and implies a meaningful relationship between the two parties. God promises to be God to us and to all of our offspring after us forever. But we have a part to play in that covenant too. While God promises to be our God forever, we promise to walk before God and to be blameless. Blameless, blameless in this case means to be faithful. This doesn't mean that God expects perfection from us, but God does expect us to keep our part of the covenant, to worship and rely upon God's creative power. In other words, to be in relationship with God. In our affluence, it's easy for us to get sidetracked and to, and to think we can do everything based on our own efforts. But the key to being in covenant with God is to remember that we are first and foremost always God's. An everlasting covenant to be God to you and to your offspring after you. How great is that? In the musical meditation that follows, think of a time in your life when you have broken a promise and how that made you feel. And then consider that God never breaks a promise. God has promised to be God to you and to your offspring after you forever.
former Archbishop of Canterbury, Rowan Williams, writes this. As the Gospels present it to us, the mission of Jesus of Nazareth is about the way in which the community of God's people, historically the Jewish people who had first received the law and the covenant, is being recreated in relation to Jesus himself. This week, write a note, either snail mail or email, and tell someone you love, or someone you find it hard to love if you want bonus points, that you see the face of Christ in them. This acknowledges that you recognize them as a child of God. O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your Son. Look with compassion upon the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love. And work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for praying with us during this second week in Lent. Look for another video next Sunday afternoon as we consider the lections for week three in Lent. In the meanwhile, have a great week.